Look behind you. What kind of clue was that? That doesn't make any sense. Oh. I'm allowed to have chocolate before dinner. <laughs> No one puts Piggy in a corner. Go! Oh, God! God! I'm out, bitches! The light at the end reminded me of the light that we saw every time that the castaways made a jump in time. And what it signified to me was that, you know, the light was flooding in, it was overtaking them, and it was going to take them someplace. Where did it take them? You know, I think that we can wonder if they all went to heaven together. Personally, in the mythology of the show, I think that they were recycled into the source. A little bit of this very same light is inside of every man. That's where they went. They went into the, the island light. What's down there? Life, death, rebirth, it's the source. And I think that's sort of a vague, ambiguous idea right. that people of the spiritual and scientific worlds can sort of unite on. The idea that we return to the earth and we're recycled into the energy of the earth and mm -hmm. we get turned into something else. I like that. Because I had had it that it was this Rosinski holding a flashlight. We can end this right now. Oh, yes. Basically, and they just yeah. couldn't really see him yet. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, this is not the afterlife I'd hoped for. <laughs> God, I just want to, like, drill something right now. I just got to... Oh, you people. <laughs> that was the note to end it on, Rosinski. I appreciate your input there, Quick Draw. Can we talk about the final showdown between Jack and Fake Lock? <laughs> Jack's like leaping down on him. He's just like, I'm about to pummel you. After this commercial break, just wait. I will swear to God, this fist is going to come raining down on you. The moment where Locke stabbed Jack with his knife. That knife we've seen, it's done so much damage this year. Yeah. I don't like that knife. Like that, that knife has always scared me. You really felt that nauseating. Our hero is probably about to meet his end. And we also saw that knife was responsible for the little nick on Jack's neck. Absolutely. What happened to your neck? And you realize now that throughout the entire season, right. his sideways world Bleeding was, through. His sideways world was trying to tell right. him to wake up. There was something inherently fraudulent about this world and he needed to let it go and move on. And also that knife ended Zoe. <laughs> but hey, let's not give Jack too much credit because the person who really put fake lock down was Kate. You might want to save your bullets. Never forget that when your hero's about to die, and you think it's just a mano a mano battle, Womano enters the picture <laughs> and saves the day. I saved you a bullet! Yeah. There's always someone in the wings with a gun. Fake Locke plummets to his doom in an ironic sort of reversal. Right. John Locke falling from the sky. Very nice. And losing his legs. But Fake Locke lost his life. But I never underestimate him, so I was thinking like, well, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of an awkward way to fall onto stone many, many, many stories, but... Maybe he's still alive? I didn't question that he okay. was dead. The one thing I wondered, though, was what happened to his soul? Because my interpretation of what happened on the island there was that when Desmond sort of pulled the plug, right. all of light in the world, all the spiritual energy of the world, it went away. And for those moments in which the island was unplugged, we were all perilously just mortal. You know, right. and if we would die, that would be it. It would just be annihilation for us. Once Jack put the plug back into the island, right. did Smokey's soul get restored to John Locke? Is the Man of Black sort of like still haunting the island in some way? <laughs> or right. if by killing him when he was just wholly human, just like an animal, you know, That's did that effectively sort about. of like just destroy his soul. In the Lost spinoff, do you want to see Smokey still alive in a well? Maybe take Locke wheelchair. body died. Smokey in a wheelchair. Wheelchair Smokey. Wheelchair Smokey. Bedeviling Ben and Hurley. I can't smoke you, but I'll roll you. <laughs> no, first I'll roll you, then smoke you. Yeah. Right. So, Dan, give me your final theory for Lost. Good call. You know, like they were saying, like, the island's like a cork. Yeah. Think of it more like a pen cap, okay? Right. And it's like, but the pen's... Oh, my God. Oh, hey, JJ. Jeff, what's going on? Hey, hey Dan, how's it going? I'm so glad you guys are, hey. are here. Hey. I heard you here. I, I was yeah. so right now, kind of in a conversation right now. There's a story that I always want to tell you guys about when we were shooting the pilot for Lost. We're talking about the finale. Yeah. I mean... Did they do an amazing job on that? They were. They it's did, amazing. It but, but let me show you this one thing. When we were doing the pilot, there's uh, one scene. Dude, where, dude, 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 sorry, dude, please. That was a cool thing with Holloway. We, uh, well, you know, we should go out that it's, way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You want to hear? We'd rather yeah. not talk to you right now. We're yeah. just really yeah. into, you know. Go create no. stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go make something. Yeah. Build a box. Yeah. yeah. Want to hear a Super Eight? There's a Super Eight thing. Yeah. No, no, not busy. Now. Busy right now. Not now. Busy. Okay, so it's like a pen cap, but essentially what you're doing is you're writing on the parchment, but it's like the cap is on, so it's like how is that even possible? That's an amazing theory.
Pretty please? With Juliet on top? Okay. But someone was coming. Okay. Someone important. I'm sure they'll wait for you. Come on.